Hello everyone, welcome back. <coughs> now in this tutorial, we're going to look at the JSON part of it. We saw XML. Now in a similar way, we are going to see JSON, right? Okay. So the JSON that I've taken here is this example. Okay. What can we understand by this? Let me bring it up in a notepad. See here, uh, just let me paste it. Okay, there you go. So string, string, integer, string, 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 and array. Ob see, it's an array. Anything that goes within this is an array. And you have defined a flower brackets. Anything that goes within the flower bracket is an object. Okay, cool. Array, so it's like array of objects. Array of objects. Or you can also say objects of array. I don't know whether this, this really works. This thing is there, but still array of objects and objects of array. Okay. Now I've taken this example. Okay. And pasted it here in the uh, input variable just here. Okay. Then I'm converting this uh, string to string. That's all I've done. So if I just right click and run as uh, it becomes that's it. Now the next step here is just like how we had XML. See, we had we saw in this tutorial, right? XML. In the similar way, we have a thing called as JSON. See here, JSON. So, just how we had load iterator in XML, drag and drop this. That becomes your uh, the first iterator. Oh, it has went to automatic all tab mode. Okay, and now I'm going to. Oh, I really hate this guy. Okay. This is one part I don't like in my methods. Okay. So just map it over here. And then array path. Array path is nothing but the path where you have to traverse. So here the first path itself is phone number. That's where you are traversing the array. I'll just say slash phone numbers. That's it. Did I give any full stop over there? Just okay, slash array iterator. Now we are going to say that traverse traverse phone numbers okay now let's run and run and see it if this actually works or there's an error hmm. right the iterator has been created then as usual repeat on success okay let me do one thing like instead of dragging and drop i'll right click here and insert Maybe at that time automatic tab will not happen. Insert success. Repeat. Oh no, it does happen. Okay, fine. See, it's not there here. It comes. I don't know why this happens. Um, repeat on success. Okay, we'll say repeat until success. Repeat until. Success. Okay then um, this is the one that what we have get next batch get the next node okay and we will slide it across we have seen this in xml and we're repeating the same steps in json oh god see here there's nothing here see now it's coming up i i don't know why there's such a huge delay okay now what is a batch size i don't know let's check it out okay how do we check it out? As usual, let's go to let's get let's go to our built-in reference and paste it and see what it is saying. Get next batch. Okay, what is it saying? Uh, public get gets the next batch of array elements by parsing the array path in the iterator object. That's cool. The service returns the array elements in batches based on the batch size provided in the input. Batch size. Okay number of array elements that the survey should be retrieved in one batch. I will say one. That's it. Okay. And I'm going to paste it as retrieve one batch at a time. Retrieve one batch at a time. Okay. Cool. Now we will add an abstract step below it. Insert map. See, it's gone again. See, it's gone again. I don't know anything that you insert, it automatically disappears. I don't know why this is such a bad thing. Okay. Abstract step. 
okay now let's debug this and see what happens okay debug as flow service it's loaded this is an input json that's fine okay this is our input json cool and then string to string iterator and array path we have taken as four numbers let us see if that works and i'm not sure we have to check it out okay so the batch size is one okay so what is the output of the batch size the output of the batch size is the batch document and the iteration status okay the batch document contains a document document mobile phone one 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 which is nothing but yeah see it has retrieved mobile phone one 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 okay cool then iteration status has next there is a next variable that is true first iteration number of elements in the batch total element passes one okay cool then we'll go to next step and it has also iterated okay so now we'll see batch document it has taken 2222 2222 and then iteration as has next false see there is no there is no other iteration which means the number of iteration continued as 2 okay number of elements in the batch is 1 total element parse is 2 but there is no next iteration which means that there are only 2 and i cannot iterate next and i cannot iterate next that that's 1 and 2 there is no such thing as 3 so i cannot iterate next that is what it's trying to say okay and obviously we will just see here it will it will keep on repeating guys see it's it's a, it goes to an infinite loop why because we have failed to have a logic on iteration status has next just like in xml okay in the in the xml right where where is this xml um yeah, in this xml we kind of said that branch on next time and we defaulted and null right in the similar way we have to do the same for iteration next so go let's go back to this and we'll see its iteration status slash next copy variable mm, let me bring up the notepad again iteration status and has next copy variable slash has next okay and it should be false okay what are we going to do is that let's see how we are going to write the logic um i just now here it's it's that let's take the branch step let's take the branch step and we'll say switch on this iteration slash has next and if it is false f a l c e false then we'll say exit insert exit exit as success exit from the loop okay we'll say it's not a failure message it is exit from success that's it exit from success exit exist not exit from success exit from loop okay and in case if it is not false and if it is true which means let me say it as default anything that is default then uh yeah let me slide it across this is abstract step uh, this uh, so frustrating guys i mean like uh, of all the things this is really frustrating to wait for just to slide it across i think sag have to improve this uh, this this feature even though they say the requirement of ram is quite less but still this is a huge pain to work like this okay right so exit from loop and exit from branch step now let's debug this and check it out what happens debug as flow service okay so repeat on success next batch it gets the next batch now first time it's default it goes to that okay cool second iteration it also goes to default oh okay iteration has gone to to false okay maybe the false statement okay uh, see first what has happened is that first 1 and 2 see 
I understood what happens. See here. There is one. This is first. Okay. It picked up the first branch and it said iteration as true. It has next as true because this exists. Now when this picked up, it said iteration uh, next has next is false because there is no third element here. So if you want to aggregate both of them, both of them in a document list or a string list or whatever it is, then I would recommend that we would, uh, uh, whenever there's a false, you need to write a logic here to append the document list as well. Okay, something like that. Okay, uh, maybe that's what we have to do. Okay, but either the way, you guys got the logic. Now it will exit from the loop because it's done. It's done. So the last iteration that you would have is 2222. That's the one under the batch documents home 2222. So that's about the how to parse a JSON data. Okay, now see guys, there's one more thing. I forgot to tell. There is a thing called as uh, in JSON called json string to document okay so just let me close this i'm done with this so string to document i'll add <coughs> another thing called as json string to document string to document string to document okay now if you get this guy string to document string to document see what happens i'll take this and i'll copy as it is and json string to document okay okay just let me drop this guy and see what happens json string to document just a feature that i would request you to uh, go through it see it will just convert that document see in the similar way you can convert the document back to string uh, see document to json string see you can convert document back to json string string in the see this is this is a quite a promising feature that we use in almost all the parts of web methods because in web methods document is the base okay so if you see here now we are converting document back to JSON string. I'll just drop it off. Okay. So run as slow service. See, it has been converted back to JSON document. Okay. In the similar way, guys, in the similar way, there is a thing called for XML as well. Okay. See, uh, right where it is. See document to XML string. Now, if I, I don't know whether this will work or not. Let us let me try. Now here, <coughs> let's see if this works. I'm pretty much sure it will not work, but still, it, let's give it a try. See here, we have converted JSON string to document. Let us see if this document is able to convert to XML string. Okay, let us see that. It means a document is trying to convert to an XML. That's a pretty cool feature in it actually. And here it's XML data and it's the same document. Let us see. I'm saving it up. Now one document should convert both to XML and string JSON. XML data. Guys, tell me is this or is this not clue? It has automatically converted XML. See? Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. So that's something that you have to know about it. So we have converted string to document, document to XML, document to JSON string, and there are more and more and more features. Okay, see if you want to get the um, query in XML node, okay, it will help you to query the particular XML node. Okay, the input is node, obviously you need to query which field or attributes, if you want to query the first name, or if you want to query the, the subfields on top of that. And you guys, see this. Uh, one pretty cool feature here. Okay, I wanted to bring it up as well. Good that I've seen this. See here. Can you see this? Fields. In this in this particular fields. Okay. If I expand, it's name, <coughs> result, query, query, child tags, on null. See? If I expand that, it's the same. Okay. And if, see, <coughs> keep on extending it. Okay. There's a feature in web methods where you can actually allow multiple recursion. Okay. 
here they have kind of stopped it to a particular child element see this is a parent child 1 child 1.1 1 .1. see if this is the parent this is c1 this is c1.1 .1. in the similar way there is an option somewhere in web methods where you can go for multiple recursion and here they just stopped it to fields see here here oh sorry here they just stopped it to fields okay which is c1.1.1 .1 and you can keep on traversing uh, to allow a multiple recursion that's something that you have in web methods that's also a pretty cool feature let us see if i can bring that up in the upcoming tutorials but something worth knowing that okay you ha can have a multiple recursive document set it up okay cool so we have seen a lot of good things um, in this particular section uh, let us see what else we can learn in the upcoming tutorials until then have a great learning take care